Hello, I'm back at Kew Gardens today and I wanted to share a little idea with you that they've come up with here. It's this little trolley which is full of carnivorous plants. Now this is kept inside this enormous plant house at Kew Gardens. This is the temperate house. But what's fascinating about these pitcher plants, carnivorous plants, is they can actually be kept outside in the UK at home. There's one down here which is one particular type and I'm going to come back to that and give you some close-up detail. But over here there's another type and I will put the names of these in the description box below this video. But what's interesting about this one here, it's actually got some flowers growing out of it and I never knew that pitcher plants produce flowers. I always thought that this kind of uh, funnel shaped part that the, the, the flies go into was the flower, but look at that, there we go, a pitcher plant flower, and here's a, a mossy little bed, and there's some other shorter stubby versions of the pitcher plant there. Now these are carnivorous plants, which means basically that they eat meat, uh, and these, as you probably know, um, trap flies. So it will be a great plant in your greenhouse. Let's have a look now at a little bit more detail. Um, that one there seems to be in full flow. It's got this lovely red ring around the top which will attract insects. It's got a little cover here which will stop it from overflowing with rainwater from above. Down here we've got another one which is not quite opened up yet. You can see the cap there on the top. That will pop open and then rainwater will gather. The fly will be attracted by that red lip, fly in and go down to the bottom and be unable to escape. And look at how these little flowers come from the end of the leaf. You can see there, look, it's attached by a string to the end of a leaf. And of course, when it's fulfilled its useful purpose, trapped a few flies which have been digested, it dies back and here's a few versions of that little pitcher, a trumpet shaped object which is dying back and in the bottom of there there is still some fluid, eventually that will die back and become one of the leaves on the trunk. Isn't that fascinating? Fascinating also that you can keep these in the UK, that one there in the bottom there has died back and is now resting on the ground and will no doubt rot away and become part of the soil, the ecosystem, microorganisms and invertebrates will nibble away and chew it up. And there we go. Isn't that incredible? I'm so fascinated by these carnivorous plants that I am actually thinking about creating a little collection at home. Here's another one at the back here. This is another type of carnivorous plant. I'll put my hand behind it so you can see it better. It gets a sticky dew on the outside and the insects land on it and can't escape and eventually they die, rot away and become food for the plant. How wonderful is that? A carnivorous plant display at Kew Gardens. Please do have a look at the website for Kew Gardens. I'll put a link uh, below this video and I shall finish by showing you this rather strange and unusual plant, which is, have you guessed it, a sausage plant. I don't think those are real sausages now. Bye for now.